All right, happy week four, everyone. Uh, I just finished grading the week three last item uh, that we had, the last three items, and um, seemed like most of you got um, the code along um, done, and it seems like you got you figured out your integration of your Google Drive. And I know I've said this before, but just as a reminder, the reason I'm doing it this way is because we haven't learned code or a version control via Git, which we will do very soon. As a matter of fact, looking into this week, I go ahead and start you at least beginning the process of setting this up. And then in the coming weeks, we'll actually have you download it and um, use it locally. So we're really using Google Drive as a substitute now for using Git to store our uh, code out on the cloud. So it's just another way of doing it. It's not as good as uh, Git or version control in this case, but it's at least a way to get there. And it's just another way to learn tools that you can use. So a couple things I do want to say though, uh, before I get in, I want to talk a little more about just the code along and give you um, a suggested setup. Seems like most of you got this, but I want to make sure for the next one you get it. But just to say it's week four in our class, which for a normal 18 week course, okay, um, this actually would be week eight uh, because we're we're doing a nine week course. We're doing a nine week format for an 18 week course. So just let that sink in for a minute that we're almost at the midway point of this class. And it seems like for the most part, when I check grade this mor grades this morning, seems like most of you would have got a good handle on it and have moved into just making this, you know, getting each week and hopefully it looks like you're getting, you have to be getting your schedule worked out to get this done. So just continue on. Do know that if you miss something, I do accept late work. It is discounted 25% but just get it done. And the other thing, if you didn't hear me say it, is that I grade first thing in the morning. So as long as it's there when I grade, it's not late. So you have two code along and we're finishing the second part and the third part of the HTML, which will be the last part. So you'll have two of your lectures this week. Um, the idea of not taking notes, but actually doing work. And I think it works best if you break this in. Last week, of, and I suggested this in the video, you have a week three. So I would have a week four folder. So I'll show you how to do that. And then I'm also going to show you how that, I know uh, at least one person actually downloaded the entire um, exercise files into their Google Drive. And that's not the idea. The idea is actually just to bring in the digital assets that you need or just recreate them using your own if you want. So let me, I'll show you that. So I'm going to move over to my Windows installation on my Mac here. Oh, and speaking of which, I set everyone up on the MS Imagine program, which gives you Windows version 8, uh, version 10, I think maybe even 7, but anyway, and then some other Windows software. So you should have gotten that in your campus email. If you have any questions, post it out on chat or to me directly. So now in my VS Code, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open a folder. And I'm actually going to go to Drive, okay, because this is the way you should have it integrated. I'm going to open my directory here, select this, or just double click here. By the way, when I select, then that then opens it, right? And so I'm going to come in here and notice what I have is I have my week three. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it week four, okay? And then I'll go ahead and hit. Uh, oh, so this is really important is to say right now, because I'm adding a new folder. I automatically synced it. <laughs> I can tell it automatically synced it, which is awesome. Um, so if yours doesn't, that that's what that little check is. So I'm guessing the way I set it up, I actually must have had the uh, containing folder. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Actually, let's just show you here. Uh, we can do that here. Is that if I back up one folder. Yeah, I had just the whole shared with Rio. Um, should have had just the code along there. Oh well, just make sure that's set up. If not, come down into your preferences and make sure you have gone in. Uh oh, not account. Actually, that's what we had to do um, for one student is that uh, she was using an account that was actually used uh, by somebody else in her home. So we had to figure that out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my four. Uh, my week four. So I recommend again a new week, a new folder here. And so <coughs> now getting back to what I was talking about, if 
you want to either grab some of the assets, meaning images or other things that he references in the um, code along for this for these two lectures this week. Here's how I'd recommend doing it: is have your editor open, right, and then go into whatever you're going to wherever you have, and I don't have it downloaded, I deleted it off of here, but it's the idea, right, of having that. And actually, I think I have some files in my documents I can pull real quick out of a website. But the idea is the same, is that once you unzip those, and you'll have them locally. And then all you really have to do here is if I wanted to grab a file and put it in to my editor, right, and in this case, I'm actually putting it into the folder, uh, not just the editor, but I'm actually doing some file management here. So if I grabbed an image and dragged it in, it'll show it in here, but ultimately what it's done here is it's placed it in that folder. So if it asks you to place images in a different directory, so you could just make that, and I think he uses underscore image. I just typically use IMJ or images. So the other way you can do this is I'm going to drag that in and now I can see that I have it in there, right? And so the other thing is just as as you're coding along, create uh, the files and grab the assets as you need them. But typically, as I said last week, it's pretty easy to just recreate or grab some content if that's what it is or list or again, grab his digital assets. Don't grab his whole folder and put it in here. And most of you also got, so I'll just move back here, um, that what I wanted here on these um, code alongs that you're doing is to still uh, bring up your lecture doc, you know, take notes on these, and then when you submit this, submit your lecture doc that has a link to your code along folder. All right, hope you have a great week. Um, uh, I noticed there was a little bit of activity on the chat, but remember that's a great way to get help as well. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.